So I want to show you all something that I find pretty interesting with uh, Next.js's server actions. If you don't already know this, I think this is good information to understand. So I have a button here and when you click it, I'm having it use a client component to invoke two server actions. So you can see here I have a promise all. All it's doing is calling two server actions here and wrapping those in a promise all. Pretty straightforward. And I have a console time to keep track of how long this actually takes to finish. On the right side, I have added some fake delay on both of these actions just to kind of simulate connecting to a third party API or simulate connecting to a really slow database. I went ahead and set the timeout to both of them to match to be two seconds. So what I want to ask you is if I run this code, how long do you think this should take to finish resolving? Okay, from looking at it, this one should take two seconds. Okay, two seconds because it awaits for two seconds. This one should take two seconds because it also awaits for two seconds, but it's in a promise all, so you think it would be concurrently doing this. Okay, let's just go ahead and run it and see what happens. I'm gonna go to my console. I'm gonna go ahead and click that button. Okay, turns out it takes four seconds to run both of these inside of a promise all, which is kind of weird, right? You'd expect that the actions would fire off concurrently, but it turns out that server actions, for whatever reason, under the hood in Next, there's like a queue and you can only run one action at a time, which means that these, even though they're in a promise all, behind the scenes, these things are abstracting something. They're abstracting your real logic here and they're running them sequentially. So it's gonna have to run this one and wait, and then it runs this one and wait. And we can actually verify this by just putting some console logs in the server action itself. So if I do that console log, running that one, and then I do a console log and run this one, click the button, go back. Notice that it says load user actions awaits, and then it runs load credits action. You would expect both of these to run at the same time. Okay, so that's something that you need to keep in mind. If you ever have a need for a user to click multiple things at the same time in your UI, it's always gonna wait for the first server action to finish resolving before it's gonna ever run the next server action. So what is the potential workaround or fix or solution if you want these things to run concurrently? Well, what you could do is you need to abstract this logic away. So I'll just say like function do stuff. And we're gonna run that, that await inside of this, okay? And then inside of the return, I'm gonna say return a promise of do stuff. And let me also return this down here. And then we are gonna do, I'm basically gonna copy this and we're gonna just return zero because we're kind of pretending like we're doing credits. And then we're gonna return again a promise of do stuff. So now instead of the actual top level function awaiting on something, it just returns a promise right off the bat. And behind the scenes, from what I understand, Next is going to stream in the results of that promise when it's done. Okay, so now if we go back to page, this obviously won't work because before it was kind of waiting on a promise. So now I have to say dot then I'll say result, result dot promise. Okay. Go ahead and save that. And let's try it again. I'm going to go ahead and clear the console, click, click me and notice that it only takes two seconds now to run both of those which is what I'd expect um, when I first got into this. And then also the console logs, let's go clear this. I'm going to go click it, go back. Notice that they both fire at the same time now. So that's all I want to share with you. I just thought this was kind of interesting. It, this is something that you may get tripped up on if you're like doing multiple things in your UI or you're, you have a really, you know, a power user of your user interface and they can click and do a lot of stuff at the same time. You might see issues with stuff just like sitting there waiting because you have multiple actions trying to fire, but it takes a sequential approach to resolving those. This is a workaround. You can do this if you need to. Now, I don't know what the implications are of doing this, and obviously the code looks a lot uglier, but I just wanted to share that through you all. Hopefully you guys learned something new from watching this video. All right, that's about it. Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join. If you want to find a place to hang out and talk to some other developers, have a good day. Happy coding.